There's an ancient proverb that says, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime. Well, there's a proverb that I live by. <laughs> give a man a fish and he'll have dinner. Teach a man to fish and he'll be late for dinner. Today, on St. Louis Great, I'm joined by my son, Caleb, who's on the camera. Say hi, Caleb. Hey! <laughs> So Caleb's with me today. Uh, we're doing a catch and cook. Uh, we went fishing today. We actually just started fishing again. It's been a few years as I've been letting my children grow up. Today we caught a speckled trout. So here we go. Beautiful specimen here. We caught him on live shrimp. Can you see the dots, how shiny he is? All right, so today on Stay Home Eat Great, I'm gonna show you how to fillet a fish, put him in a pan, and make him taste great. All right, so the first step, we here we need to take a fish off of the stringer. So this is a speckled trout, scientific name uh, spotted weak fish. We want to take the fillets off the sides uh, from the gills down. Uh, here is the area, this rib cage here and the guts are here so uh, we're going to cut a little bit off in order to avoid the, the bones. We want to get both sides. So here we go, sharp knife, fillet knife. We'll start right here at the gills. Alright. Right behind the gill. We're gonna come all the way down the back. Always cut away from you. Keep the knife against the backbone. Make sure you get all that fish there. Give them over. There's one fillet right here. This isn't a very big one, but my son was uh, really insistent on us doing a catch and cook today uh, on speckled trout. So here we go. But of course, his insisting helps me uh, keep my uh, filleting skills in check. So you want to ride the knife all the way along the backbone here. So we've got our two fillets. Look at the kitty right here. You want to see that? Look at that kitty. Hmm. Here's the fun part. You want to lay your fillet knife right up against your cutting board here in order to make so what you're trying to do is take up all this paper thin skin here. So if you start here, cut down and make a right. Now you're just riding it all the way down. Keeping your knife flat against the table. Bam! There you go. One fillet. Paper thin skin. Look at that. Let's do it again. Just gliding it along the bottom. But it has to be a sharp knife. There you go. So two fillets. Skin off. I'm gonna give this to the kitty. I'm gonna give him some some uh, speckled trout sushi here. Here you go, buddy. Look at him. Woo! All right. So in this case, me being out of practice, uh, the little snack here for our kitty, our kitty friend. I don't know where he went. Here he goes. Done, it should be just like this. You see how much paper thin? Yeah, I don't see that. You don't look at that. But there you go, fresh speckled trout. Alright, so part two of our catch and cook. Uh, earlier, you saw the video you saw, we caught a speckled trout. So I have a 10 inch pan uh, here, non stick, that I have on medium high. 
And here's our two small fillets. Um, I'm gonna bring them up so you can see them. What I've done is I, I fillet it and then I, I go back right around the rib cage. You'll see sometimes there, there can be some small bones and that's the, the fear that people have sometimes whenever uh, you're eating fresh fish uh, or fish that you caught yourself. So what I'm doing is I'm just patting it dry. I want this as dry as possible so that once I get my, uh, I'm gonna use a blackened seasoning. It'll stick really well. Right around here is where the chest cavity was. Um, and that's where you're gonna find some bones. So I just cut it out. Before I had also used tweezers to pull them out. You can do that, but as you get a little older, uh, like me, I don't have as much time for that. So I just cut the little parts out. And again, I'm just blotting this dry here so that as I put my seasoning, uh, it'll, it'll take really well. So here we go. The first thing we're gonna start off with, hot pan once again. I'm gonna start off with uh, some butter. So we got butter coming in here. Bring down the heat a little bit. We don't want it to get, we don't want it to burn, so. Here you go. Just wanting that to, to melt completely. While that's happening, I'm using this uh, Zatarain's blackened seasoning. So I'm just gonna put it right on my fish. Zatarain's blackened seasoning. Again, this is speckled trout. Uh, I've, I've done recipes where we do the breading and you can see the breading, but in this one, we're just gonna pan fry it. Okay, so here we go. Butter is melted, nice and hot. And we're gonna bring in our blackened uh, speckled trout fillets. Bring it back up. Get this heat going. Here you go. So we're gonna let that go uh, three to four minutes per side. So while our fish is cooking, as I said, three to four minutes per side, uh, depending on how thick your uh, fish fillets are. Uh, I just wanna let everybody know, I'm currently working on a design for a t-shirt, and I'm also working on a design for some uh, aprons. I've had a few requests of, for Rodaif merch. Uh, so I'm working on that. Please keep your eyes out for that. I'll soon have some samples for you guys to see. Uh, hopefully on, our, on my next video and I just want to thank you in advance for supporting me those who have uh, messaged me those who have called those who have uh, dropped a kind word uh, encouraging me to continue going uh, just want you guys to know thank you so much I'm able to do this as long as you guys would have me so uh, be on the lookout for merch coming up all right so we I'm gonna we've been going for about three minutes on one side remember we're using butter so I'm gonna bring this right over, nice color. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring down the heat a little bit. I'm on medium now. And we're just gonna leave it there. It's not gonna stick. <clears throat> but those are our blackened trout, our blackened speckled trout fillets. They're so tender. Very nice, very nice. Got a plate here, <clears throat> ready to plate. So I'm gonna get my my first fillet here. Well, there you have it. Catch and cook speckled trout, uh, blackened, and uh, I just dressed it up here to make it look a little nice. But here's an, just an idea, an example of how you can prepare your speckled trout. If you're a fisherman, uh, then you already know what you're doing better than I do. Uh, but I just wanna encourage you guys, go out, catch, it's, it's fun. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified. And uh, is that all I gotta say? Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell in order to be notified at, with every new video coming out. Thank you so much. Once again, just a quick reminder, be on the lookout for merchandise coming up very soon. Uh, this is Steve Lopez for Stay Home, Eat Great. God bless you and be safe.
You're welcome, Mr. Kitty. Next time I come, I'll give you more, okay? Have a good night.